Psalm 5 and verse 4. For thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness, yes. neither shall evil dwell with thee. Mm. Amen. Amen. So wickedness. Mm. God has no pleasure in wickedness. Mm. So kindness must be found in us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, one of the things I find is that kindness is when you are thinking about what somebody may be feeling okay. or what a person may be experiencing. But usually a wicked person doesn't care but doesn't even think about it. It's more like um, you deserve it or I don't care. I don't know and I don't care how, what, you, what it, the experience is for you. you see, but a kind person thinks about what it must be like for you and then acts with that uh, mind. My mother was like that. That's how I always felt about her, that she, she, she was thinking about what that person is feeling. You must be feeling sad or must be feeling like this. So start to feel co compassion for the, pe for the person. But a wicked person doesn't think so. When Hitler was uh, in charge of Germany, there was a camp. I don't know if it was a one called Auschwitz. But they were taking... Uh, everybody that came arrived on the train and they put them in the gas chamber and burnt them. And they were burning up to 10,000 people a day. That is like the Independent Square of Ghana burnt of people every day. And the smoke was so much in the sky, the planes that were passing could see, they could see the smoke and that they were burning people and they knew. And uh, the commander of the camp, right, he lived just outside the camp or within the camp with his wife and his children, three little children. So one day, one of the people that had been brought to be burnt, they just burned all of them. I mean, she had little children. And she begged the commander who was living outside. And how I know this is because the, this man was arrested after the war and uh, he was in prison and he was, he was executed, the commander. But he had time to write his memoirs. And so this is one of the things he wrote about. And this lady asked him, doesn't he feel any, look at the children. Don't you think about it at all? And they are going to ban them. You know? And you see, people who are wicked, they don't think of what is it like for this person. You know, and we, are, we can exhibit wickedness in so many ways all the time. You know, some people think that a wicked person is a tyrant who is killing people. No, no, no. You see it in your daily life. You can marry a wicked person who doesn't feel or doesn't care. Yeah. And many people are married to wicked people. And many of us interact with wicked, we have wicked pastors, wicked church members, wicked friends. Yeah. It is a different experience. Anyway, Psalm 5 verse 4 says that for thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. So make sure that your heart is a heart of kindness. Yeah. I mean, those of us who've been to secondary school, 
have encountered people. You don't have to be grown up. The most wicked person that I saw when I was in Form 1 was in Form 2. The one who tortured me most when I was in Form 1 was in Form 2. You don't have to be old to be wicked. The one who made me stay awake all night, scrubbing out of wickedness, do you see, was in Form 2 when I was in Form 1. And he, he knew that I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't understand, and so he was bullying me. So, and you don't forget the wicked people. And I think God does. I've never forgotten the wicked people that, are, that, I, that I have encountered. I've not forgotten them. I know it's like if I, if I had uh, 30 people in my class, do you see? I can tell you genuinely that I don't remember the names of mo- almost every single one of them, except the wicked. I remember them. Yeah. I don't remember the names of them, unless maybe they were there in church, but I don't remember most of them, many of them. But I remember the wicked. Because wickedness makes a mark. It makes a mark in your life. But it's interesting. God says, the Bible says, but thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. Amen. Amen. So we must be very careful those of you who are wicked. You know, I've heard it many times. When I came to the church and I saw this person in the church, my heart started to beat because the person is a wicked person from school. I'm just trying to say that. And even girls, there are girls who have said that when I saw this person, I, be, I panicked because she was a wicked senior. A person who doesn't think about what is it like for you? What is it like on your side. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you see lions eating hyenas, eating their prey live, they eat them from the back especially because the back is softer. The under is softer. They don't bother to kill them, they just eat them. At first, I thought it was a strange thing, but it's, it is how they eat. They eat you alive. You can see there's no feeling or even thinking or caring. That's wickedness. It's like you are like an animal. Don't think at all. Feel nothing. At all. Hmm? So... Thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. I believe that many of us have wicked traits. Those wickedness traits are manifested when you are a leader. When you are in charge of things. When you have a little power. Yeah. Yeah. When you have a little power, you see wickedness in human beings. It's only that you haven't had the ultimate power. But if you were to have a bigger power, I don't know how it would be. So thou art not a God that hath, you see, it said in the verse before that, you will hear my voice in the morning. Do you see? But you don't have pleasure in wickedness. So when I come before you, I'm not coming as a wicked person. How many of you think that if I'm speaking 
to a wicked person, he will believe that he is he. I don't think there's even one person in all that I'm preaching, do you see, that thinks that he's wicked. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I don't think even one person who is listening to me believes or thinks for one second that he or she is, is a wicked person. That's what I, I think. Yes. So who is the wicked person? Oh, you don't get my, you don't get my English point. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's lift up, lift up your voice. And pray about yourself that you will never be described by this wicked person. Yes, Lord. You will never be described by anyone as yes. a wicked person. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray. Bala 